Hello and welcome to Patran 2010. This new release of Patran features several improvements including a modernized user interface, updated CAD interoperability, performance, user efficiency, and better solver support. In this video, we will take a look at how Patran takes further advantage of middle and right mouse buttons to provide you access to more options and selections without having to leave the graphics area. There are two ways the mouse buttons can be used. First, to do dynamic manipulations of the model like zoom, rotate, and pan using middle mouse button, which has been introduced in recent releases. Two, to access menu items from the graphics region and eliminate excessive mouse travel and multiple clicks. When you need to manipulate your model, Patran now lets you handle these dynamics by maintaining the mouse within the graphics region with the help of the hotkeys of shift and control buttons. By pressing middle mouse button alone, you can rotate the model about X and Y axes. If the shift button and middle mouse button are simultaneously pressed, you can zoom in and out. Instead, if the control button is pressed, the same mouse movement will result in panning of the model. Finally, if both control and shift buttons are pressed along with middle mouse button, mouse motion would result in rotation about z-axis. This approach can be very convenient and efficient to users because there is less hand motion to toggle on and off the required type dynamic model manipulation. In addition, keeping with Patron's legacy of customizability, you may choose to map these key combinations to any of the four model manipulation actions described here. Let us now look at the versatility of options available through the right mouse button click. The right mouse button provides even more of Patran's capabilities at your fingertips without having to move away from the graphics region. With the context-based menus that pop up with right mouse button click, you can perform operations like verify and optimize on the model entities and also modify viewport display and model orientation. This saves you from repeatedly going to the menu region to make necessary picks and moving back to the graphics region to continue. You can click anywhere on the screen with right mouse button to bring up the menu. The context-based menu system offers smarter choices based on the selected entity. While this capability is expected to see dramatic enhancements in the 2010 release of Patran, the current release also offers a preview of things to come. For example, let us click on a solid here with right mouse button. Notice the additional menu items that show up, including Create Mesh and Delete Mesh. If you select Create Mesh, you will see the Finite Elements window populated with appropriate options to mesh a solid, including the solid ID. This approach would save you several mouse clicks and mouse movement as well. You can also view the attributes and perform transformation operations with less mouse movement and fewer clicks. You can expect to see further enhancements to this capability in 2010 with the Patron release with smarter logic and access to more aspects of modeling. Like the new skin capability mentioned in our last movie demo, right and middle mouse button enhancements are meant to enhance the ease of use and efficiency advantages for CAE analysts. 